KSI is one of the most popular content creators in the world, and he has been dominating social media for a very long time now. KSI has done a lot on YouTube, and he definitely has changed up his content style over the years. KSI still gets millions of views per video in the year 2022, and is showing no signs of slowing down. In today's video, I'm going to go over the evolution of KSI, explaining how he has changed as a creator over the years, and why he's extremely successful on YouTube, and with all the other projects he's working on. Let's get straight into it. Looking at KSI's early days on YouTube, his first his YouTube channel is actually named Jedi Jr., which has over 100,000 subscribers today. But since he only uploaded 10 videos to this channel, I don't think this is anything super important. KSI uploaded mostly FIFA content to this channel and made a couple of rap songs that he made for his chemistry and physics classes, which I find very funny. And overall, this channel is very bare bones, but it does show where KSI started on YouTube and how he has improved his videos so much as time went on. He started this channel in 2008, and considering the fact that YouTube came out in 2005, it's pretty cool to see how KSI started his journey on YouTube so early on. Moving forward to 2010 though, KSI would upload his first video on a new channel, this channel being named KSI, which has over 23 million subscribers today. The video was titled Modern Warfare 2 Care Package Kill, and that is over 1 million views today. Even though KSI's first video was a Call of Duty video, this wouldn't last, as KSI would only post one more Call of Duty video in 2010, and he eventually started to make a name for himself by playing and uploading the soccer video game FIFA. Looking back at some of KSI's FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 videos, I'm honestly very surprised at how well these videos hold up today. Now the quality isn't amazing, but it's still very good for that time period when most YouTubers had abysmal microphones that were painful to listen to. Most of KSI's FIFA videos back then were extremely short, rarely exceeding 5 minutes, but as time went on and KSI became more popular, he started to make longer content. The FIFA 12 videos that KSI were making were really starting to gain traction due to the viewers loving KSI's edgy and funny personality, as well as his FIFA skills. A lot of his videos that are over a decade old have over 700,000 views, and I'm not sure if a lot of people just went back and rewatched his old content, or there were really that many people watching his videos back then, because I didn't know who KSI was until much later on in his YouTube career. Ultimate Team was one of the main game modes that KSI posted on his YouTube channel, and when it comes to sports video games, the My Team mode or the Ultimate Team mode where you can build your own dream team seems to be the most appealing to many players, including myself, because you can customize your team exactly how you want to. KSI stuck with the FIFA content for a long time, but he would mix in some in real life videos as well. One of his earliest IRL videos I can find was posted on May 31st, 2012, titled My New Setup, plus some surprises, and this video has over 2 million views currently. Later on in KSI's YouTube career, he would post vlogs much more frequently, but he slowly started incorporating more vlogs and Q&A style videos in 2012. He also started to use a face cam for his videos around this time. He didn't show his face in every single video, but depending on the video, he would use a face cam, which is very helpful for gaming YouTubers specifically. KSI was also uploading FIFA 12 content very consistently, and that definitely contributed to his fast growth. Heading into FIFA 13, KSI posted similar videos, but he was doing more IRL content than ever before. Don't get me wrong, KSI was still mainly uploading FIFA, but some of his non-FIFA videos were getting a ridiculous amount of views. For example, KSI uploaded a Q&A Sunday video that got 12 million views, a skit titled If KFC Closed Down that got 20 million views, and another skit titled How to Be Better at Football that got 20 million views as well. All these videos were uploaded very close together, which shows that people were watching KSI's videos because because of his personality and not just the gameplay. KSI was always very loud, unafraid to make witty jokes, and still has the most famous laugh on YouTube. KSI also had another YouTube channel that he started in 2010, this channel being called JJ Alatunji, which is KSI's real name. The first video he ever uploaded to this channel was titled Black Ops 1 in the Chamber, and this video has over 900,000 views at the moment. He used this channel as a place to upload gaming videos that weren't FIFA, mostly Call of Duty content and Dead Space videos. This channel has over 15 million subscribers today, and he is still posting consistently on this channel in 2022. I'm still going to be focusing on KSI's main channel though, because that's the channel that has more subs and it's been around longer. Moving back to FIFA though, KSI would upload the game for a very long time, but as the years went on and FIFA 14, FIFA 15, and FIFA 16 came out, KSI was uploading more vlogs, challenges, and face-to-face -face videos than ever before. It's really hard to describe just how popular KSI was back then. Literally every single video he uploaded around 2014 and 2015 were getting 2, 3, 4 million views, whether that be a FIFA video or not. On March 23rd, 2015, KSI uploaded his first real song and music videos to his channel, that song being titled Lamborghini. Now this song went completely viral and it currently has over 120 million views in 2022. This would be a sign of things to come for KSI because he still makes music to this day and takes it very seriously. KSI has around 5 million monthly listeners on Spotify, which I'd say is very good because most people can't transition from being viewed as a YouTuber to being viewed as an artist very quickly. KSI would still upload YouTube videos when he started 
making music, but he basically stopped making FIFA content by 2016 because he wasn't enjoying the game as much. He would still make a FIFA video here and there, but music and in real life videos were his main focus. KSI was also a part of the YouTube group called The Sidemen, with members such as Road to Shaw, Vic Star, Mini Mentor, and a bunch more. I'm sure almost all of you guys know about The Sidemen, but in case you don't, they are a group of content creators that make videos together. The group started out in 2013, but they launched their official YouTube channel called The Sidemen on May 15th, 2016, with a video titled Welcome to the Sidemen Channel that got over 4 million views. The Sidemen Channel reached over 15 million subscribers in 2022, with each new video getting about 8 million views. YouTube groups have been done a lot nowadays, and there is an enormous amount of potential if done right. KSI and The Sidemen don't live in a house together right now, but they live close enough where they can meet up and film content for the channel. KSI is the most popular member of The Sidemen, but each individual member has a large following of their own. The Sidemen post a new group YouTube video every single Sunday, and they have some of the most dedicated and loyal fans on YouTube. In 2017, KSI was uploading a lot of reaction videos, whether that be him reacting to his old videos, other YouTube videos, or diss tracks that were made. Now, a lot of people dislike reaction videos because they come off as lazy and are very easy to make, but I think KSI does reaction videos the right way because he actually provides a lot of his opinion and gives the viewer a reason to watch. You would be surprised how many people just watch other YouTube videos, barely say anything, and then call it a reaction video. Moving forward into 2018, KSI would take a major risk, that being boxing Joe Weller. Joe Weller was a YouTuber himself, and this was the beginning of the YouTube boxing era. The KSI and Joe Weller fight had a ton of hype and promotion behind it, with press conferences, weigh-ins, and more. The boxing match took place on February 3rd, 2018, with KSI winning the fight by knockout in the third round. This was something completely out of the blue at the time. Two YouTubers facing each other in the ring always sounded like an unrealistic thing, but after the incredible support from the fans, it was clear that YouTube boxing was here to stay. On August 25th, 2018, KSI would face off against Logan Paul in the ring, with this fight being very back and forth. Logan Paul got off to a great start, but lost energy later in the rounds. KSI was more consistent, but the fight was certainly close, and ended up being a draw. This made many people frustrated, and many people started calling the decision rigged, so they could get more people to watch a rematch. There is no official answer on if the fight was actually rigged. I personally do not think it was rigged, but I would not be shocked if it was either. On November 9th, 2019, KSI and Logan Paul had their rematch, where KSI ended up winning a decision. This fight was very close as well, but I do think the judges got this one right. KSI was just a little bit better than Logan that night. The two of them pretended to hate each other to sell the fights, and I did not believe this for a second. Fighters do this all the time to build drama and sell pay-per-views, and even though they do this all the time, it is still very entertaining to see both of them go back and forth. Switching gears back to YouTube for a little bit, once KSI started boxing, he stopped uploading vlogs and reaction videos as much on his main channel, and instead, uploaded fight promotion content and his music. In 2022, KSI's main channel is strictly music, and he doesn't upload new videos there anymore. However, KSI does post content on his second channel, JJ Alatunji, which I mentioned earlier in the video. All of his videos on this channel get over 3 million views, and it's honestly super impressive how KSI was able to maintain a super active fan base for over a decade. Just a few months back in January of 2022, KSI and Logan Paul decided to start a company together, that being Prime Hydration, which is marketed as a healthier version of Gatorade. I haven't tried Prime yet, because I haven't seen it in any stores near me, but I really hope I can give it a try soon. KSI is one of the most successful YouTubers of all time without a doubt, and he continues to prove that in 2022. KSI evolved from a kid uploading FIFA content, to someone who made in real life videos, to a rapper, to a boxer, and then to a business owner. KSI has done it all on YouTube, and he has helped so many other people make it on social media as well. Make sure to drop a comment down below and if you watch KSI's videos or not, and if you do, let me know what type of KSI videos you like the most. I hope you enjoyed this video on the evolution of KSI, and I'll see you all next time.